right guys, if you just watched that last video on how I surveyed my ground to find out where the elevation was, you gotta check this out. The next day on Friday was absolutely beautiful and I decided it's time to get out there, get the backhoe going and make something happen. So here we go. All right, so here's the water that I showed you before. And it is just flooding in this whole area really, really bad. Now, some of it's already down because I already started it. I came out here with the backhoe this morning and started trenching. And I got way better results than I even thought I was going to get. It's been draining for, geez, I don't know, a good solid probably 20 minutes now and still continues to drain. It'll probably be draining for a day or so. But I went about three foot deep, actually probably about two foot deep right here. And then about three foot deep, the further back I went here to adjust for the uh, ground that I've got here. It just kind of hills up in this area and then goes back down. But man, better results than I even imagined. This sucker is flowing beautifully. I am really, really excited about this because now we're gonna be able to end this problem that we've had for years. Now, it hasn't been a problem every year, but uh, you know, every other year, or actually recently, it's been every year for the last couple, but uh, we just get a lot of high groundwater in that area and it's been starting to get to the point where it's been flooding. So I'm glad I finally did something about this. I don't have to worry about the fruit trees anymore, the vegetable gardens, the hoop house, any of it. All the water is draining right down to this area. And now I really don't want it to collect in this area. So ultimately, once it gets down here, this is kind of the halfway point of what I was showing you in that last video. I'll put a link where I showed you how I was gonna find the elevation on the property, uh, the change in elevation. Well, anyway, this is about the halfway point between the two posts that I had up, but it's out behind that hill that the maple sits on. So it's all gonna collect down in here it's all going to flow from up there. Man, this is so cool. I'm so excited I got this done. I should have done this years ago. Anyway, it is flowing like a little river here. And anyway, it's going to collect all in this area. You can see it's just building up a pond there. By the way, I've had a few questions. Does the, uh, the backhoe still run? Heck yeah, it does. It's kind of limping on its last leg. And I need to get some cylinders rebuilt because they're leaking a little bit. But it obviously did that job. So all that water collects back in this little lowland swampy area here, which actually isn't usually a swamp, but it is right now <laughs> because I opened up the floodgates. So, wow, it's coming all the way out into here. I am dumping a lot of water into this area. I may not even have to connect the two. Wow, I don't think I will. So I was going to come along here and I was gonna dig all the way out to that area. Now, out where you're looking now is where I had that post in the last video, uh, the low point, the point that was two, two and three quarters feet down. And I was gonna dig another trench between the two, but as you can see, that water is all filling up in this area over here. And it is just flowing. It's finding connections throughout all that, throughout all that swampy area. See if I can get a total shot. So there's the backhoe back there in the in the uh, brush, and then just up past that is the point of origin, and it's it's just low enough throughout here that it's all kind of finding its way. That is so awesome. You can see the little trickles through here, <laughs> and right over here it is finding a way all the way down through all of this, right down into this area, and. I am no longer worried about water flooding up in that upper area. Holy cow, that's awesome. Now, I don't like that this part of the property floods a little bit in the winter time, but you know, it's so far removed from where the house is and where the, where the nursery area is and where the garage is gonna build, get built and all that. You know, you're, you'd be hard pressed to find areas in the, the Puget Sound region that don't have some standing water in the winter time. So I'm pretty happy with this. And you know, we don't really need this part of the property anyway. We used to have cows that grazed out here. And if we ever did have cows or horses or anything like that, there's plenty of high ground as you can see 
where they could be. But um, in the winter time, this is where the water will go. All right, one last shot of our little river. <laughs> that water flow, man, if you guys have ever had water problems and you finally do something about it and hear that little flow going, nothing warms your heart more. <laughs> I got my property back. And in fact, we may end up expanding the garden area now that I don't have to worry about water in this part. In fact, I may end up expanding the chicken coop as well. This is so cool, man. All right, guys, it's been a few days and I haven't actually posted the video yet, so let's just do a quick update. Uh, I ended up coming out here, went back to work for a few days, came back out here, and I just want to show you guys how much this water table has gone down. So the spot we're looking at, it's kind of a, uh, you can see I was walking around in that area right there. It's a little darker, muddier. Uh, that's where the original T-post in that video, the, the previous video I shot, in which I was showing you how I was finding the elevation of the property, that's right where the T-post was, and the water level from there on was just flooded. And you can see how much this water has gone down now. I can walk all the way out here. I've still got some water here over on this side which is fine it's not a big deal it's not gonna affect anything really uh, and then this was all completely underwater as you can see it's all mucky in there but that was completely submerged underwater and this rock right here I had placed before I came back out I actually came back out because there was still some standing water uh, we just had a trickle in our little stream over there in our little ditch and I wanted to dig it a little deeper So before I did that I placed this rock here and that was right at the top of the water level and you can see how far The water has dropped just in the last day since I dug it even deeper. So I'm really happy with how this is turning out here uh, I just came out here yesterday with the backhoe and I, it was kind of trickling, so I dug it out even deeper, and we've still got a good flow. I kind of have a feeling that from here on, we're always going to have somewhat of a flow in the wintertime through here, and we're never going to completely empty all that water unless I dig this thing even deeper, which I really don't want to do. I think I'm okay with this for now, and I don't mind that little bit of a puddle being up on that one spot. There's, pro there's uh, water coming in from the neighbor's property and then up from higher than them. So, you know, it's just part of living in the Pacific Northwest. And as long as I don't have a lake over there and I'm controlling the water flow, I'm happy with that. So if you look way over here, that's where the water ends up. And I've been watching it with landmarks like rocks uh, that are placed out in different areas. So I can see if the water's actually rising uh, but it's not actually I was a little bit uh, shocked by that I thought it would just keep getting deeper and deeper over there but I think we've got better soil over in that area it got to a certain point and it must just be draining into the soil so anyway it has not risen at all once it got to a certain point so that's that's a good thing uh, anyway I just want to give you guys a quick update and show you where the water level has actually gotten to over here and how much better we're doing since I dug this drainage ditch. Now my eventual plan, maybe you guys can help me with this. Put a comment down below. I, I kinda had a thought, you know, I, I don't know if I wanna put pipes in here or stone in here uh, and fill it in and just kinda cover it back over or if I'd rather just come along the edge this summer when things dry up a little bit and, and kinda form this into more of a V shape so that you could walk down into it easily or animals could walk through it uh, but just maintain that little bit of a river so anyway i've been going back and forth and how i want to um, eventually end up with this in my mind but if you guys have any ideas just give me a comment below and i'll kind of take it all into consideration all right guys if you like the video like it if you want to comment down below you know where to make it happen and if you want to follow along here and see how the projects move forward subscribe thanks again see you in the next video adios